Well, well, well. Good morning again to the fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you at the last day of the month here in August. Been a good month for us. Uh, for this, we're thankful. And let's just see what this last day has for us in store. A couple things to note on this month, on this day. Um, Labor Day in America is Monday. A lot of people. Uh, are going to take half days today, head out to Long Island for the long weekend, one last long weekend. A lot of people uh, in North America have taken this week off uh, so they can bridge to the Labor Day. So it's going to be a bit light today. I have a feeling. Uh, and then we have the month end fix, which is annoying at 5 p.m., so, be careful today. Like a lot of, uh, you know, it's going to be order driven rather than theme or technically driven. Um, so, this is the kind of day that's in store and, and uh, take extra care today. Uh, some silly things can possibly happen. Speaking of silly, uh, let's just take a look at this dollar Swiss. It looks like the um, liquidation of all of these longs is almost complete. We still got a move left. Uh, last night, just can't go up this thing. Uh, you know, we kind of went up to 15, but last night we just dribbled down. These are stale longs. These are hopeful longs that just got stopped out. 98.50 is the support. Uh, Stay away from this thing on the long side until after the fix. There's probably some more business to do with the fix today. Uh, final sort of capitulatory long puke. Why do I say this? Uh, mainly for those of us who are long sterling Swiss. Uh, Got to be patient with this. This has come off with Euro Swiss and the dollar Swiss side component of this side is dragging this guy down we still like this picture higher we've got core longs we're going to add through 126 67 this could happen Monday or Tuesday um, could happen today but it looks like we're going to get a bit of risk off today so we'll have to see, see see if this happens speaking of risk off let's have a look at euro yen and dollar yen Darian, big red day yesterday, as such stocks seemingly turned, bonds a bit higher. So questions are being asked about Italy, which is dragging this euro yen down. Well, that said, BTPs closed near 123. So that story is not really, it's there, but its price is not confirming that story yet, so be careful. But these bars, this dollar yen bar, and finally a red bar in, in uh, euro yen, um, looks like this is a turn. So keep your eyes on BTPs today. I don't mind being short euro yen. Uh, I'm not going to chase this and gun it down through the lows, but little shorts in the 60s and the 70s with a stop above the figure makes sense to me. You know, there's probably a chance we'll break this high, the 78 high at some point today, just to take out some of the shorts. Dollar yen. We broke this 95 level and we're hanging around. I would say if New York takes this through 88, it's important. I don't know what Europe's going to do. I'm expecting kind of a sleepy morning in Europe. Um, but there's no getting around. This is... This is a bearish day. Big long red. Close to the lows. So we keep an eye on that. Cable. We're still core long. Kind of a stale day yesterday. Uh, we will be adding through the highs today. 40. I guess 42 to be precise. Uh, we're still on board with the the, the overall medium term soft Brexit idea is going to happen. This should yield prices back to 140.
just got to be patient with this um, and we have to get through month end I think before this continues to gain traction but Corlong Sterling uh, we do like as we do like Corlong Sterling Swiss Dollar Rand uh, same same playbook all week uh, this is just going to continue higher. This is going to make a new high um, next week. So keep your core longs. It's a tradable long now today. Um, you know, the 25s and the 45s can now be traded. You can sell even here. You can sell in the 70s, try and buy back at 55. And you can sell in the 90s and rebuy back in the 70s. Uh, but this is a core core long even though we had some news flow yesterday about how the government is not going to seize land um, the rest which is positive for South Africa if it's true um, the rest of the EMX comp emerging markets complex is just getting trashed so this goes in sympathy uh, obviously dollar turkey is the leader of the bandits <laughs> 683 yesterday uh, the real high was 724 as we all know because uh, we were there watching it this is going to make a new high next week you could argue and it's been my contention that on Tuesday when all of these asset management firms sit down for their trading meetings and they all look at Q4 and they all have to make some big miraculous bet to get back on track um, the bet's going to be let's uh, let's smash EM uh, and let's make some sort of big risk off play. play. Uh, maybe short European stocks. They could be, you know, they could drill down and focus on Italy. Who knows? But it's going to be one of these sort of, I think, pretty normal playbook trades from the hedge fund community and from the asset management community uh, and I think that starts in earnest on Tuesday we of course are in a little bit before them so we already have this dollars are on we're watching this equity move in the US mildly bearish day from the highs but nothing crazy um, what we really need are prices below 2870 to start getting a little bit excited that that something's turned over um, you could probably have light shorts here um, but if you're like me who are a little bit tired of stopping out through the highs you're just gonna wait now wait for confirmation um, below 2870 all right I've said enough uh, good luck today last day of the month and then uh, a long weekend ahead of us. I wish you all well. Good trading. Ciao.